Saints reporter Gianna Seflu and I'm here with head coach Aaron Milam to talk about tonight's win against the San Diego Force. So coach, the bats were kind of quiet there offensively the first two innings, but then really came to life there at the bottom of the third. What changed offensively? Um, I don't think anything changed. I think these guys just stuck with themselves and stuck with the process. These guys have been playing baseball all year, at least most of them. Um, and you know, and they, 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 hey, flush it and move on to the next one. And if they can do that, they'll, you know, at least one out of three, right? So um, I think that's what you saw. I mean, I think it's a good hitting team. Um, I think it's a lot of really confident guys. And um, that's what you need in summer ball because you come out and you play with you know, nothing else. I don't have to worry about going to school tomorrow. And I don't have to worry about a final in two weeks. Um, so you know, just, they're just out here playing baseball. And I think that's what you saw tonight. Yeah, a great hitting team indeed. And let's talk about the pitchers for a second. Eight pitchers that you guys put out there. What stood out to you in their performances? Uh, I mean, the free passes were really limited, and that's the best thing to me. I mean, you know, as long as you're not giving up free passes and free bases, I mean, you're going to put yourself in a position to win. Um, you know, and that's the way it's going to be the first week. That's the way it is in summer ball. Um, you got to kind of understand who you have and who does what. Um, you know, some of these guys are starters for their schools. Some of these guys are relievers. Um, you know, but in summer ball, you know, it's kind of all hands on deck until we figure out what that rotation is going to look like. Probably takes a couple weeks. Uh, Tuesday night will probably be the same. You know, a lot more of a one, two inning type of things. Uh, you know, and then we'll see where it pans out from there. But, but uh, you know, where we are right now, I like it. I think we're in a good spot. Uh, you know, you just have to, wherever your starting point is, you have to keep accelerating and keep the, keep the trend going up from there. You know, you can't you can't be up and down, up and down. You just got to keep going up. Yeah, and it's the first game of the season here too. Why is it so important to build that team chemistry early on when these guys really don't know each other? Oh, that's huge, yeah, because they all come here from different places. You know, the majority of them don't know each other. Some of them might have played each other in conference. You know, we get a couple guys at the same conference that know who each other are. But, you know, for the most part, these guys are all new. And then they get thrust into the situation where, hey, they're living together. Um, they're playing baseball together every day. Starting next week, they're going to be working camp together. You know, so uh, it's important that that happens quickly, right? Because. You're, you just you, you have so much of each other um, that you know if, you, if it doesn't happen quickly, it's going to be a long summer. They really are together every day, and uh, just talk about how exciting is it to be back playing Saints baseball for the first time in two years. The season was canceled last year. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, uh, I keep talking to the staff and the players about this. You know, the whole post-pandemic remediation and being able to get back out here and what you got to do to do it. Uh, you know, what can go wrong will go wrong, and that's that's totally true as of now. But you know, as far as being back, as my first game in coaching in 15 months, uh, you know, from my college season getting canceled in, in 2020 till, till now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, not just happy, I'm excited about it. Um, I had those first game jitters right before, you know, kind of don't know what to do with yourself when the game's going on. Um, but that's also the beauty of it with these kids is that um, you get guys who come prepared from their schools. They know what to do already. Um, and it's not just about knowing what to do on field. It's knowing what to do off the field. You know, they know how to get set up. Right, they know. You know, there's a guy on umpire balls. He knows what to do. The bullpen balls guy. He knows what to do. Um, you know, that's that's the beauty of it. Is that you're not you know reteaching the game. You're not relearning. You know, the process. It's just the same wheel spinning around and around. Kind of a you know wash, rinse, and repeat. Yeah, and we're so glad that summer baseball is back in full swing. And uh, that's all I have for you, Coach. Thank you oh, so much. Thank you.